All right, so here's the light meter. Now this measures lux. If we look right here on the Bridgeport machine, where it'd be working, it'd be right at 300 right now before we swap it out. So these lights up here, we're gonna swap and we'll see what it does. Going over there to flip the switch and see what happens. Whoa! Hey guys, it's Nate, and this is the Nader Tater channel. All right, so I'm in my uncle's shop. And if you subscribe to my channel, uh, you probably haven't seen this shop before. But um, we're going to look at upgrading his lights from uh, 400 watt metal halide ones to LED ones, and see how they compare, uh, how they're different here. So. You know, I have these and we're trying to figure out what lights to use in this shop and just how much um, better or worse they might be than these, um, these older ones. And so to do that, we have just two of these LEDs that we'll swap out. We'll compare them. I do have a, a light meter here that will measure how bright it is. So we'll do a com uh, comparison there before and after. So right now you have six lights in here. Right. And about how, how big is this space? So this is 24 by 40. And the barn was built about 15 years ago. And we put these lights in at the time and they were used. They were much brighter then, obviously. Um, but we've been waiting, I've been kind of waiting for this to mature to a point where, you know, we could go in a space like this and, you know, save some money and put out a lot of light, so. Right, so each of these is about 400 watts and they're on 220 or now? 220, yeah. All right, so this guy, it has a 110 plug. It also has these other wires, and this is for a dimmer. So uh, a lot of the true dimming LEDs have a, a 0 to 10 volt or a 1 to 10 volt uh, dimmer circuit that you would have to have a special dimmer. We're not going to hook that up. We're going to have these guys uh, going full, full tilt for us here. And they do actually uh, accept 110 R220 as an input. It says it can take up to 277 volts in. But um, we actually want to convert and use the 110 anyway, so that's what we'll do here. And I guess first what I want to do is go around with this light meter, and we'll see how bright it is in here right now. And then once we swap out two of them, we will go back and check it out and see, see the result. All right, so here's the light meter. Now this measures lux, which is uh, how many lumens are in one square meter. So. Um, this will be a lot lower of a number than the lumens of the light output because it's just measuring it in a single area. So you can see right now I'm about 280 lux. So I go underneath the ones that I'm going to replace. I'm about 400, 410 lux. And then if I go between the two that we're going to replace, I'm a little bit higher. I'm like uh, 520, give or take. And if I go under this other one that we're going to replace, that one's about 420. And then what you'll see is if we go away from those lights, it gets less um, lux, obviously. So looks like we're in the middle 300s here. If I go over to this corner behind the bridge port, we'll see it'll drop down to like 170, 180. So we'll use those numbers as comparison to um, the LEDs that we put in. If we look right here on the Bridgeport machine, where it'd be working, it'd be right at 300 right now before we swap it out. So these lights up here, we're gonna swap and we'll see what it does. All right, so to install it, they have a couple options. One is um, you could th thread in this hook here, directly to the top here, that will allow you to um, to hook it on an eye hook or something up um, on the ceiling, which is what we're going to do here. But this also can accept a, a pipe. I, you know, I'm not sure, it looks like maybe a half inch um, pipe would thread directly into there if you already had that set up, because uh, I see that sometimes as well.
little bit more. A little bit more. It's good. All right, so I'm just disconnecting these guys and popping them off. You can see they're just on an eye hook as well. So it's actually uh, pretty straightforward. All right, so now we can lift this guy off. All right, so since this one was just a straight, um, straight wire, we're gonna put these little connectors on, which will give us a 110 female plug that we can uh, plug in. All right, so now we got this plug in on it. We'll tuck it up a little bit higher in the ceiling there. And now I can put on this LED guy. Okay, so that's in there now. And you know, we have extra wire that we might cut that down and shorten it uh, after we get this set up. But this is now a functional setup only took um you know a couple minutes to really do that so uh, let's get to the next one all right he's going over there to flip the switch and see what happens whoa <laughs> that's some light All right, so now I got the light meter out. Now recall, this one is actually turned off. But over here, underneath this guy, you can see I'm at 1,230 or 50. If I go in the middle before, I think I got just over 500 here before. Now we're at almost 1,300, right? So that's, uh, you know, two and a half times brighter than we were before. I go under here to the bridge port before we were at 300. Now we're at 850. So over twice as bright in this work area, you can see here much better. We go over here to this corner where we were um, 170. Looks like we're still about 170 because this gets uh, shadow by that uh, overhead light. I guess we're a little bit higher too, 250. Um, but there's a shadow there between uh, the light and uh, that area. But in general, this space now is, I would say at least twice as bright as we were before. And that's just replacing two of these lights. And in fact, just looking out here, I can see even that side of the building is brighter than it was before. Cause those lights actually project, um, you know, a fairly big diameter path when they're at a 14 foot height for the ceiling. All right, so now we're in here. The only two lights we have in this entire 20 by 40 foot section is the two LED ones that are in there. And honestly, it seems almost as bright as it was before um, with all six of these, you know, they are aged uh, metal halide and you know, they do have a depreciation over time where they lose brightness. And these probably had, you know, uh, less brightness uh, for sure, like 60% or something of their full brightness. But even still, just look at the form factors of these LEDs. They're tiny, they give you a lot more uh, ceiling space, and um, then you don't need the big deflector. They really do spread the light out really well. And uh, obviously, they're way more energy efficient as well. These burn 150 watts claimed, and then that's 200, or sorry, 22,500 lumens of light is what they um, advertise. Now, the metal halides. These 400 watts ones supposedly are 24,000 um, lumens, but obviously these LEDs are well surpassing them in this test here. All right, everyone, well, thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, like and subscribe, add any comments down below. And then if you uh, like to this shop and want to see some more stuff about plasma cutting, this uh, CNC machine, you know, my uncle Steve has his own channel. Check it out. He has lots of content there that he uh, has now and will be adding in the future.